everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Greece. So guys, we are back here in another episode of Awesomeness where basically we are going to be trying to recover from the first great war that ended in tragedy for us as you guys all know half of our forces were depleted and we basically lost one of our biggest alliances ever. And what do I mean by lost one of the biggest alliances ever? Well, I'm basically saying I'm going to delete my alliance with France because I just don't see them, quite frankly, I don't see them recovering in the next, like, couple of years, at least for the next, like, 10 years, for us to be, like, of good help to us for our conquest and our eventual hatred towards the Ottomans. So I'm breaking off our alliance with them and slowly going to move away from it. Um, what else am I going to do? Well, yeah. Um, some other diplomatic decisions I've decided off screen is that I'm going to try to get an alliance with the great and mighty Russia. Because Russia, I think, would actually be a pretty good, you know, uh, alliance member because they are like, well, for one, they're like really the great power of one of the crap powers that could actually help me fight the Ottomans, but just generally they'd be a good power overall. And so that's what we're going to do. Um... I'm also going to try to, um, I'm also going to try to deal with this Ethiopian situation that has developed, and I think it's finally time we go declare war on our good old friends, the, uh, well, no, 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 let's not declare war on them yet. I'll deal with them later, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm still not forgetting what they did to us, so, yeah. Anyways, though, it seems like there's some kind of international war between the Chinese and Russia, ooh. This could actually be a good fight here. China versus Russia. That's interesting. Hmm. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to, I think it's finally time for me to start locking down on trying to conquer the Ottomans. And I know I've, I know, I know it seemed like I was like being very, very lackadaisical in my style of how to deal with them. Like I was conquering this, I was conquering that, I was doing all this kind of stuff. Well, what did that? My plans kind of gone awry, so I might as well tell you guys what I was trying to do. I was trying to like gain enough of a good population base so that we could actually go in and go, you know, attack the Ottomans with a reasonable amount of population, and we're actually pretty even right now, so this would be good. But and I was also waiting for the uh, Ottomans to not get so good of an alliance, which I don't know how they got it. They had the like the French as their alliance for like most of the game, and then. Uh, it annoyed me so much so you know I think my main my main goal in this game is I'm going to start trying to kill the Ottomans if if nothing else that is going to be like my life goal is I'm going to try to destroy the Ottomans so or at the very least at the very 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 least I'm going to try to reconquer all the land that we lost which is going to require a lot of effort plus I should also mention that our economy isn't going to be doing that good because of uh well, first of all, we start the game up, and second of all, we are going to have to play War and Dimitaries, which do not help us out at all, so that means we're probably going to have to tax everyone to about an 8% tariff. Not bad, considering I usually like to keep... I usually like to keep uh, be below 10%, but it's still not the greatest, and I'm going to have to keep militaristic spending up. I can't really get most of this, like... Letty, but I think that's where we're gonna have to go. So, anyways, let's continue with the game of Greece, the almighty and powerful, or at least trying to be almighty and powerful. Sometimes we succeed and then sometimes we fail epically. It's kind of a honestly, after playing this campaign, it's kind of like a toss up to see if you're actually going to be, you know, a great power. Like, I feel, I don't know. There's some campaigns I feel like you can, you can use your own merit and skill to become like great. Uh, this 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 almost feels like a life lesson right here, but you can use in some cases you can use your life merit and strength to become a great you know person or a great power. But I feel like in this campaign it relies mostly on luck. Like I, I'm saying I'm not saying I'm like the greatest Victoria Two player ever, though I'm pretty sure I'm a pretty dang good one. Like it may not have shown it in this let's play, but I just have a feeling that this let's that this particular, you know, nation requires particularly too much luck for it to actually, you know, succeed. Like, it isn't about skill at all, it's more about luck. Like, I'll give you exa- I guess I'll give you an example, because 
basically in this campaign, you're kind of expected to try to end. I'm gonna invest in this because I know the Olympics will pay off in the end. Um, because we because we have great athletes, so that's why I know we're gonna win. <laughs> but you know, in all honesty, you know, you think I try. You know, you think about like what you do and what you try to do. But I just kind of think that this this campaign requires a little bit too much luck for my own liking. Like you have to really. You have to really get some good role, in an essence, good roles for you to continue. I mean, you have to make sure that the Ottomans, first of all, you have to make sure that you have a good alliance yourself. Then you have to make sure that the Ottomans have a bad alliance. Then you get to declare war on the Ottomans, and then you get to take some territory from them. Then you have to hope that your master will not take, or whoever is in the war leader, is not going to, like, you know, disobey you and then destroy you. Um, you're going to have to also rely on luck that you can you know, you know, eventually become a great power due to, you know, due to rapid industrialization. Actually, you know, at that point, actually, I don't think it becomes luck, but I do believe, like, this part that we're doing right now requires too much luck, and I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, don't you have the, uh, chances causes Belli? The, you know, crises? I've, I've come to realize crises are almost useless unless you're Poland. Like, I'm not even joking. Unless you're Poland, it almost never helps you so you know it it's a sad thing to say but it seems like that's also another thing about luck is you have to be hoping that your guy will always support you and that he'll always be the frontal guy that will always strike you I mean there's really no you know after I think I finally discovered like the main reason why most people hate this game so much like um, after like playing extensively around with with my EU4 and doing some like various games, I've come to realize, and this might have been a little bit like a, this is probably like a no dumb moment for most of you guys, but I've come to realize this game is very very like narrow in its marks. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going down in Ethiopia? There's like a party down there. All all of those like Ethiopians are just like partying it up now that I've left, but don't worry, I'll be coming here soon. Just give me a second, but uh, just like self-reflection-wise, the game is the game is very narrow in what it actually can do and what it actually can accomplish. I mean, for Pete's for one sake, it's only one linear path. It's you follow the Europeans' way of lifestyle or the Europeans' imperialism way of lifestyle, and there's really no other way you can go from there. I mean. Sure, you can try to do something different, but that's generally what it always boils down to. If you want to succeed in this game, that's generally what it's going to boil down to. So, you know, it's kind of, I think, I think that's one of the main problems that people have with this game is that it's not that open. And mo and I think it could have been a really open game. I really do. I, I, I always praise this every single time, and I really got to stop monologuing about this. But I think it could have been a really, really great game. I just think that they should have... Figure out how to make it really Victorian-esque, and then also figure out how to make it really open. Which I think, which is not an easy task, no, now mind you, because this game is, okay, this game is just basically like EU4, but you basically only have one year to do it, and you have to build like, you have to include like the industrial era into it, so it makes it insanely complex, and there's already a second great war, wow. <laughs> not even like two years after the first one we've already entered the second great war like that is uh, oh and it got alliance okay okay we might actually be able to declare war on our peaceful enemies now after they have successfully done their war with China because I think I think I'm gonna have to wait for China to free, for them to end the war with China otherwise well just dealing with uh, could they help me uh, no, it seems like Russia's mostly spread about, so I can't declare war just yet, but I will be declaring war against you. Alright, let's get all the way around the, the African coast, so, but yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, just final thoughts. I think it was because of non, the non-openness and that decision where you have to follow the European style just makes it really annoying and really, you know, not fun. And that's the reason, I think that's the reason, because if you look at EU4, I mean, you do follow the European lifestyle, but you can kind of do it in your own way. Like, there isn't a copy and paste answer to everything. I mean, if you put, if you play as Austria in EU4, and if you play as Spain in EU4, you get a completely different experience. I mean, 
For one thing, Spain is much easier to... One thing, Spain is like a colonizational force. They like to colonize everything in North America and like to do all this kind of stuff. Whereas Austria has to deal with all the political and diplomatic intrigue of dealing with all these little like independent vassals and tr vassals and trying to deal with the Holy Roman Empire, trying to form that. Communist? Are you guys just... As long as they don't spawn on my actual main continent, I'll be fine with them, whatever they do. But, yeah. Um... It's just those kind of those kind of openness, and then the biggest the biggest thing I also think it also doesn't convey is also um, the uh, how to explain its more complex and its most strongest assets. Well, I think the game really does shine is showing you how the how the um, factory system and the budget system works. Because I kind of always thought it was kind of BS that the market never changed in EU4 or CK2. It was always like, you gain this certain amount every single year. There is absolutely no change to the year whatsoever. You gain this exact amount every single year for your economy. I'm just like, well, that's not true in economics. The economic system is always fluctuating and changing to the point of near mass hysteria. I mean, look at this. My, my economy is doing great just a second ago, and now it's doing poorly. It shows you that, you know, it's, uh, it's an economic system. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically tax myself way out of this by taxing the poor. I mean the rich. The rich, that's what I meant. So, okay, one second, guys. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Just had to quickly deal with some parents and some family members and stuff like that. Not really the funnest thing ever to do, but come on. It's, it's just something you have to deal with in the life of a YouTuber, is dealing with family and all that, but, yeah. I think, I think I basically made my point. I don't need to beat around, like, the bush anymore, you know, keep saying what I need to say, because I think I've conveyed what I need to say, so, yeah. Let me just build more units, so that we have a kind of new army in Europe. Yeah, let's just build a new army in Europe. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, anyways, though, continuing on, though, we are entering the Olympics, the Olympic Games, the first ever, Greece is going to be a part of it. Of course, we should be a part of it, because we were the first ones to invent the Olympic Games. So, we should honestly be in it. And, as soon as Russia, I think Russia has finally ended their war with their enemies, they still have a lot of their troops stranded over here, so we're still gonna... They just ended it, so we're gonna have to wait just a little bit for them to recover. Once they recover just a little bit, we're gonna go declare war on the Ottomans. Hopefully take a ton of land, and they've already gotten a new sphere. Dang, Dang I'm amazed. Okay, truthfully, guys, I'm truly amazed at how well the Ottomans did in this game. Like, seriously, they get really good alliances really quickly. Like, they should not be, but they somehow do. It's like... What? But anyways, um, yeah, let's just go put our army right over here. All right, chemical, chemistry, get some, get some of this. Let's see, we got some new stuff to build. Not yet. Let's get to electricity. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, let's get some electricity going in our in our mitts because electricity would be awesome. And it seems like most of the uh, rebels. This is the good thing about rebels too. The rebels seem to usually vanish after a little bit, so if you just wait just a little bit, you can usually get like a good, you know, solid stack of dead, uh, dead soldiers, so you don't have to fight like a full army of rebels. So that that's just a little piece of advice. If you've ever like had a major rebel problem on an island or something, just wait a little bit and it'll eventually vanish, so you can go in and go kill him. So like right now, I'm gonna go attack the rebel company. Because I think they're going to go head towards one of my, uh, raise the tariffs. No, we don't raise tariffs. I've said that many times. Okay, it seems like the rebels are trying to fight me, but they're losing. Okay, but this is like the main stack of rebels. So once they're all dead, then we can just go kill the rest of the rebels over there. Which have now congregated into one gigantic spot. Very convenient for us. Jindoism. Alright, in initiate. Alright, let's go right here. Boom. And bye-bye, Rebels. Okay. Pacifism. Oh, heck no. I, I've never found the use of pacifism in this game. <laughs> in, or in basically any Tort Paradox game. I've never found the use of it. It seems like a very, very, like, uniform thing that should be followed, but no one ever does. 
Okay, so let's see. Russia, I think, has recovered most of its army. It's been a little bit, so let's see. Yeah, it's recovered most of its army, so it's time to go to war. Uh, most likely, per se, the Ottomans are going to be a little bit terrible at conquering, but eh, I don't really care. Let's see. Will they join in? Yes, they will. Let's see. Is there anyone else I can form an alliance with in the last quick second? Hmm. Who else would be a really good ally against them? Persia. Persia, would you guys like an alliance? Good. Yes, okay. Persia plus all you guys. Actually, Persia's pretty terrible. I don't know why I just chose them. It looked like they had a lot of power, but they don't. But anyways, let's finally end this. Gain Eastern Macedonia. Let's call in all of our allies. Persia joined in. Russia joined in. We got everyone joined in. Good. Okay. We got all of our troops... Oh, shoot, they're all stranded over there. Oh. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna go conquer back all this land. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, um... Quickly mobilize, first off. Quickly mobilize. Get all of our soldiers off of this... Okay. No, stop. We're not trying to conquer anymore. There are no gods, whatever. Believe what you want to believe, that's all I gotta say. Get all the people onto here, get them... Get them all right here, and I just realized I stranded my troops. Oh, that stinks. Okay, that that was not well thought of by me. Well, at least the good thing about this is that my men, oh, at the very least, I have a gigantic Russian army about to crush in on the uh, Turkish army. I mean, that's pretty much where I'm relying on most of this. Let's be real here. That's really where I'm relying on most of the militaristic power coming from, not from me. Because I wish I could, but I don't have exactly the strongest military ever. Alright, but we could try to, hmm, making it all the way past Spain is going to be like the most difficult part ever, and I don't think we could do that, but it seems like our Persian allies are trying their best to, to hold off whatever they can. I think what we're going to try to do is just kind of hold our line somewhere so that we don't die, um, try to assist whatever Russian soldiers do come up, okay, yeah, this is, yeah, okay. You right here, you with the army, go right here. Can't you guys go to the mainland? No, we can't because it's stranded. Okay. So, how about you guys? Can you guys go to the mainland? No, because they're probably stranded. Yep, strandation usually does not help us out. But we're right here. There's apparently some factories that collapsed. Oh my goodness, I got the wrong power in, in again. Russian faction, there we go. Hey, hey, the Russian faction! Hey, that kind of makes sense this time. So... Yeah, we have a lot of hangover has gone bank over bankrupt. Good job. Maybe it's because they had a, a hangover? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh? No, bad joke. Okay. Okay, so we're going to... Yeah, we have enough men to kind of just sit here and relax. I mean, we really don't... We, we just basically have an army. That's basically what we have. Um, Russia has an even bigger army. Which I'm hoping they will actually deploy because this is not going to be like... A too easy war but it's not gonna be like a too hard war it's like one of those kind Egypt buddies would you guys like military access no they hate me so yeah I stranded my troops over here that kind of stinks um we could at least try to be like a little bit you know aggressive towards the AI but I think oil oh yeah found oil accomplishment I'm just gonna go right here. Just gonna sit right here. We conquer some of my land. This is my land. And let's see, how much is our commander in terms of this? Okay, he's really good at defending. So if we got in a good defensive battle, we could win. I'm going to attack these guys right over here. Destroy their army. Causes Belli. All this kind of causes Belli stuff. Okay, there's an army right here, and it's heading towards Skolakia. Guess it's going right over there. Well kind of useless because I already have an army over there. Uh, I think the Russians just got like majorly defeated because they didn't group up any of the soldiers. That kind of stinks, but I think they should be coming back. We've mainly lost most of the things due to defensive blockades, but it seems like the Persians are making a good headway into their evil, evil friends or fiends, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Okay, let's just like sit here and relax. I'm not going to do anything, and I'm losing lots of money. Tax, tax, tax. Uh, t 
tariff. Let's go. Destroying my economy, I know, but it's probably the only way. And they're obviously creating more soldiers than I ever thought they ever had. Yeah, let's destroy that one little soldier back there. Okay, let's get down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. Good. The other soldiers did not decide to join in. I was worried there for a second. I was like, oh, no. Please do not join in. Please do not join in. Okay, let's destroy all these guys down here. Okay. Benefits of supply got better. Still no advancements in terms of technology, so I'll just get that. Technology right there. Alright, and we're slowly starting to lose this. I don't know why, though, because the Russians should be, like, the power right now. There, there we go. I think I think mainly it's because they haven't grouped up most of the army. And some... What? How are you not winning, Russia? Seriously! Get your act together and get your army over here! Ah, That's kind of stupid. Russia should not be this bad at losing. I mean, winning. Like, I, I know this is usually not there per se and stuff, but seriously, this is stupid. They should not be this bad. Okay, let's just, like, reconquer all this stuff. Since, like, some of this got, like, reconquered. Oh, gosh. And I'll die factory. Okay, blood of marches. Don't be overexerted. Why don't we do that? And I guess it's time to go, guys. I'll see you guys next time.